So, hi, Justin. I want to know that there are many people who wouldn't easily talk about their sexuality. And I feel very happy to connect with you because you have spoken about it as a matter of fact. You've not made it a trauma, which is brilliant. And it feels as if the way you have connected would create pathways for women and men out there who are sitting in the closet and who don't want to ever talk about anything that's got to do with sexuality. So what would you tell to these people who are sitting in the closet and never want to acknowledge their true self, the true needs, the true desires? I really, really appreciate you answering this question. Thank you. It's such a big topic, you know, it's one we could talk about literally for hours and every country is different and I can't, you know, how I would say it is in, in, in England where, where, or, you know, Britain, where I've been living is one thing and how it is in countries like India is another, but all I can give is my own experience and really there just came a point, I don't really, you know, I don't really remember being aware of my sexuality, that I was attracted to women, particularly throughout, throughout most, up until I was, you know, you know, my 20s. And when I look back, I can see that, that there, that there were times that I was, but I have no idea what I must have been thinking. I, I don't remember thinking that I'm hiding bits of myself or I'm not being myself. But there came a point once I'd uncovered that, that I realized, I looked back and I realized, okay, so that, that's why it never worked out with, with, with any of the men that I went out with. And there just came a point where I just wanted to explore it and, and I don't think I could have done it any other way. And then finding someone, I, you know, I found, found my, you know, my love very quickly um, and maybe that's lucky. So, but, you know, I, likewise, I wouldn't have minded it if that wasn't the case, but, um, but I felt like I had no option and actually and then when you're sharing it with someone else, we, we were very careful. I mean, I, I didn't tell my parents for quite a few years, my family. So I suppose, you know, this is 18 years ago now. So there would have been times when that would have been really difficult for sure. But I guess there came a point where I felt ready to tell people. And I, I talk about that story in, in, in the book, but... Um, but, but other than, than it being difficult for my parents, everybody was very accepting. For example, my sister was the person I probably most worried about telling and she, she had no issues whatsoever. And we've never, we've, we've never had an issue, but we've never flaunted it, my, our sexuality. Either. We don't particularly walk down the street holding hands, but things are different in Britain now. We've been together 18 years and, um, things have changed a lot really here only in the last five years it started being on shows and sort of prime time tv shows it's it's almost normal now we can we could almost pretty much anywhere walk down the street holding hands but we are always cautious i'm not the sort of person to feel that I've got to shout from the rooftops but I'm very quietly in writing my chapter almost actually thought very quietly I hope it does uh, give some you know some way for other people to see that it doesn't have to be too difficult and the world is changing the world is changing and in, in a lot of countries I think I could go on for ages.